Okay, hello there people here. Welcome to another quickie seat of the pants into my office noisy of not sure if I'm going to do it right because I haven't done it for a long time tutorial. So the first thing you need, uh, this one's about making morphs, more morphs. Um, I did one a long time ago, I guess um, it's outdated now and somebody asked. So I'm just loading a base. I, I can't even remember what's in the character creator base um, before buying stuff <laughs> because I bought the essential package. Um, I guess it's uh, these little ones here. So just load one of these because we don't want clothes in this case. Um, so I'm going to export a copy of this one. I haven't done this one before. I think I did a a female and made it into a male the last time. So you can choose these. I'll, I'll choose the body and you export again. Look at this axis. It works fine. So I'm going to call it one and in an object mode. Again, you may need that 3D exchange pipeline. I really don't know. Um, if it can be done in Pro or not, because I don't. Anyways, uh, now we'll import this object. Uh, again, just uh, remember why, because that wasn't Y in the other side, and you can check that in if you want, although I don't think it's necessary. Um, so he's really big again, so we'll scale it down by a factor of 10 so that we can remember. And then we will uh, morph our dude. Uh, now, I guess what I'm going to do is copy, uh, make a copy, a couple copies, one shift D for duplicate, move it, oops, move it. Shift D, move it. Okay, so we have three copies on three layers. As long as I didn't shift any of them. Anyways, here he is. And um, I shrunk him down. And then the previous time I did it, um, he was, they were triangulated. Um, it was basically still an early version in beta. So I'll do it again now that it's not triangulated, so it's actually nicer to work with. Um, I don't know, do we want to do it in sculpt mode? I'll do it in sculpt mode. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, make them fat maybe? I don't know. There's big fat dude. gross but anyways so there's one um, maybe some horns sort of a scary looking dude. Now when you do these you can make some for the hands um, but the last time I did this the hands didn't work very well but it may have changed. So you can make a bunch of morphs that are just on one area like you can do one for the face and you can do one for the arms and you can do one for the legs and import them all separately and uh, mix and match them on your character in the char in the 3D, uh, in the character creator. So there's one, I don't know, looks sort of okay to me. <laughs> uh, it's a change, and it's not a too bad change. So we'll file, we'll export it, object, y up. You need to make it a factor of 10. Yes, I did test, did it quickly quickie and then I messed up the original tutorial so I'm doing it again. So you need to set this to 10 and Y up and I'll call it one morph. Export. Uh, I can
can even make a little, I'm going to make a little quickie, uh, what do you want to call it, um, screenshot. Fn print screen. Uh, where am I going to put it? This is an afterthought, <laughs> but I might as well. This is Krita. It's pretty close to Photoshop. Another free program. Uh, desktop. It's got a few bugs, but I like it better than GIMP. Um, quick tutorials. And I will call it One Morph. One Morph. Good. Fine. Awesome. Okay, so then we'll do another one down here, and we'll do it in object mode. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Uh, select edge loop. I'll turn on mirror. Scale. Selected. Select an edge loop. Scale. Do another one here. Select an edge loop. Scale. Select an edge loop. So these basically would work. This is pretty much the same as, as some of the morphs they've got in there already. Um, but I'm just randomly picking things. definitely different. So I'll make another FN print screen. Uh, oh well, whatever. I cut off the feet. Never mind. It's mostly the top part that we need to worry about. I don't think I exported it. We'll do it now. File, export, object, selection only, Y, multiply up, keep the order, two more. So there he is, export two more. Okay, so in theory that should be done. Uh, now, let me see if I can remember this. Create a morph slider. Yeah, it was body. So it was lighter path. Um, file. Source. I don't remember. Uh, target more file. I do not remember how to do this. So this is going to be interesting. Quick tutorial. 
tutorial one more check for the key we need a key now um one more slider path thumbnail desktop see if that works uh, okay so I just copied this path here <laughs> because I'm uh, gonna do it now let's see auto apply to we'll see whether I fig remembered that or not and looks like it worked and there's the morph and there it is so that's one so no morph morph no morph morph okay and there it is. Okay, perfect. Awesome. And you see where it's looking here. There's another one. I guess I did make some more before. There's some more. Eh. Long time ago. So there's one. Now I'll make another one. Um, I'll paste that there before I get it, forget again. Um, and then we'll make two more, and we'll get the key. Oh wait, and the default morph there, and the thumbnail, which I made a JPEG. Um, let's hope it's. Uh, I guess that, that'll work that way. Auto apply to current character. And so there we are. And there's the morph. So that's it really. Um, there's both of them together. So that's how you do a morph inside the um, character creator. Ugly. But hey, oh my god, there it is. So it's under here, this button up here, morphs. So there's the two morphs reset to zero. It just puts it back down to the original character you used. And you can name them different, different but they're, that's why I took the screenshots. Okay, so that's the end of that. Um, happy character creator morphings. Bye.